You may not be in as many Zoom meetings these days, but virtual meetings, whether they're on Zoom, Google Meet, or Microsoft Teams, are probably not going to disappear. And they're likely still an important part of communication within your companies today. In this video, I wanted to share some things that you can do as the host of your virtual meetings going forward to have highly productive, highly engaged meetings. After all, who wants to waste time in a meeting, even if it's just a virtual one? I'm Cheryl Tan with Cheryl Tan Media. We help startups to Fortune 500 companies build their media authority and communicate better on video. Subscribe to this channel for content that will help you connect with your audience, share a clear message, and give you strategies to create content consistently. Click the subscribe button and the bell icon and you won't miss a thing. Zoom meetings are no longer a novelty. We're all a little more aware about how to use them these days, a little more savvy. We may be using them as a stepping stone to a face-to-face -face meeting. Maybe it's a time saver to quickly collaborate. But these are good reminders. You still want them to be an effective use of your time and their time. And there's some good rules of thumb that will help make the experience run more smoothly for you as the host and for your attendees. Here are four areas you can focus on for your next virtual meeting to make it more impactful. Set expectations. I've hosted hundreds of Zoom meetings over the last few years, either conducting interviews for podcasts or TV segments, having one-to-one -one conversations, doing presentations, or even facilitating group discussions over Zoom. And I've noticed the results are so much better when people are made aware of what will happen before the meeting begins. Even telling people that they are expected to be on camera is a good move. It could be a typed up agenda, or it could be a bullet pointed list that you send through email to your attendees, but having an agenda that you share with your guests, either before the meeting or right at the beginning, helps to put your guests at ease because it shows you're not going to waste their time and that you're in charge. Next, encourage participation early. As an attendee, especially if you're off camera, it's so easy to hang back, turn off the camera, listen to the Zoom meeting while checking email. But if you, as the host of the meeting, ask pointed questions, if you say people's names, if you ask questions people want to answer, you'll get engagement early and there's a greater chance they'll be engaged throughout the meeting. I like to ask for wins in the very beginning. They can be work-related, they can be personal, but it starts the meeting off on a positive note with a priority on engagement and conversation. Check the tech. Reset your computer, check your Wi-Fi, fix your background. I've noticed I'm getting a little sloppy about this and it has resulted in some poor connection and frustration during some of our live meetings. Move to a room that has a strong signal if you won't be connecting directly to your router. Connection issues can take away from the momentum of the meeting and they can be avoided if you take a few minutes before the meeting to set everything up. I have a video ready checklist you can download for free that will help you anytime you get in front of the camera. Just go to CherylTanMedia.com slash video tips and it's yours. Finally, give marching orders. We are easily distracted and we know a lot of things are discussed in meetings like this. Even with an agenda, there are a lot of moving parts. It's important to focus everyone's attention on the one thing that needs to be accomplished once the meeting is over. There you have it. Some quick tips to host better Zoom meetings. Set expectations, encourage participation early, check the tech and give marching orders. Here's to better meetings. Keep these in mind for your next virtual gathering and let me know how it goes. If this was helpful, please give this video a like, share it with someone who needs to see it, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you in advance. See you in the next video.